Hello, I am Christo and I'm going to show you how by using CPP model you can simulate your actual controller code. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code as editing IDE and MSYS2 UCRT64 as compilation environment. Let's take as an example a simple function that could be the control of a boom motion of an excavator. It may have a joystick value input, which will read the analog voltage signal from the joystick and two outputs that will control the coils up and down for the hydraulic valve controlling the boom. For our example, we will assume that the joystick input is provided in the range 0.5 to 4.5 volts and every coil is controlled in the range 300 to 700 milliamps. I will also provide the source code in the description. In this project, we also have our CPP model libraries located under dependencies folder. Let's start and build our first simulation now. For that, I will create a C++ file and I will name it Boom Control Simulation. In CPP model, every simulation extends the basic simulation class, which is defined in the header simulation.h. So let's go on and include that file. Okay, let's now make our specific simulation and I will name it Boom Control Simulation. There are three important parameters that uh, we need to define in our simulation class constructor. And the first one is the name. The second one is the simulation time. I will put that to 10 seconds. And the third one will be the step size. I will put that to 10 milliseconds. Okay. In order to be able to simulate our process, we need to override the run cyclic method of the base simulation class where we can make call to our C functions. This method gets a single parameter and that is the simulation time at the moment the method is being called. Okay, let's see how we will call our function here in this method. In order to access the function, we need to include also its definition. And since our function is written in C, I will wrap the include file into external C statement. OK. 
Okay, let's go back to our NCPT method and call our function. I will simulate the joystick input for the whole time of the simulation to go from its minimum to its maximum. I will also provide the context for the hydraulic outputs. And I will refer to those two parameters in the function. Okay, to visualize the behavior of the input and the outputs, I will add them to the inputs and outputs of the simulation. Okay, with this, our simulation is defined and the run to our control function is done. Let's go ahead and add a main function in this file to make it executable. I will just create the instance of uh, this simulation. And to run it, I will just call its simulate method. For now, I will return zero. Let's go ahead now and compile our code. I will use the integrated terminal and the GCC and G++ tools included into MCS2 environment. The first thing is to compile the bomb control function. then compile the simulation. Since the simulation requires uh, the definition of the boom control and also the definition of the CTP model libraries, I need to provide the include location into the compilation command.
There is one more thing I need to specify here, and that is a plug that allows the underlying library uh, to communicate with the server in a secure way. Let's use those output files and create our executable now. We will need to also link with the necessary libraries. And since we have uh, CPP model libraries locally, we also need to provide path to the CPP model libraries. Okay, now our runner is ready. Let's start. Since, since we have not logged in yet to our workspace, it provides us a link that we can use to do that. I will just use my credentials. On successful login, we can follow the link and visit our CPP model workspace. Here we should be able to locate the simulation we just run by its name, and in this case is Bone Control Simulation. And once inside, we should be able to observe the behavior of the inputs and outputs we have specified into run cyclic method. You can also isolate a specific variable and you can observe any variable in a certain point of time. Okay, this wraps up the process of simulating controller code using CPP model. Please let me know if you would like to know how to use CPP model in continuous integration environment, or you just want to see your specific function simulated. Thank you for watching.